Hey guys, Richard Blaine here. Thanks for stopping by my Easy Cooking channel tonight. I hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving this year. And if you went out on Black Friday and went after sales, I hope you got everything you were looking for. Today I'm going to do a rather short video. Well, it might end up a little bit longer than I thought. Today I'm going to do another product review. I've been doing recipes with my GoWise Turbo Air Fryer lately, and I'm going to continue doing so. But I have another product that I'd like to show you guys in review because people have been sending me emails lately. Blaine, <laughs> Mr. Blaine, Richard, show us some of the gear you use in your kitchen. And so tonight I decided I'm going to show you a piece of gear that I use in my kitchen on almost a nightly basis when I'm not using the air fryer, and that's a stainless steel skillet. Well, okay, I know you guys are thinking, oh, wow. Stainless steel skillet, you know, stuff burns to it. I hate using it. And actually, things don't burn to a stainless steel skillet if you use it correctly and don't let the heat get too high. But this isn't just any stainless steel skillet. This is my Tefal Expert Pro 12-inch stainless steel skillet, okay, with riser technology, okay? This is a beautiful stainless steel pan, all right? This is just a wonderful pan. It's probably the best stainless steel skillet I've ever had. And I have some expensive gear like all clad. And I use this more than my all clad. So tonight I'm going to review this t -Fal Expert Pro 12 inch skillet. Let's get going. Let's review and let's cook something. So here we are. This is my t -Fal Expert Pro 12 inch stainless steel skillet. And by the way, I'm not being paid to review this. This skillet was not supplied to me to review. This is a piece of my own gear, and this is my honest review. This is my Tefal Expert Pro 12-inch stainless steel skillet. To most people, it looks like any other stainless steel skillet, but there are some mild differences. Can you show me one of those mild differences? All right, here it is. The pattern, the bottom of the skillet. This is basically the difference. It's not flat, it's textured, it's raised, okay? Technically, what you see here, this pattern, is no different than what you see in the bore of a firearm. You know, it twists, if you look down the bore of a firearm, it twists. And what you have is lands, grooves, lands, grooves, lands, Grooves, lands, grooves. That's what the Tefal Expert Pro has. These lands and grooves allow for a better release of food from sticking, for which Tefal calls techno release. It's just a nice quick release. If you do this on a culinary knife, it would be called grattening, which is still lands and grooves, lands and grooves. Uh, let's see if I have a knife I could show you. Of course, if you did this on a piece of cutlery like my Mac Santuco, you would see lands grooves, lands grooves. Okay, this patterning on the knife is no different than what you see here lands and grooves. Techno release is what they call it. Raised patterning, lowered patterning. Okay, um, it's non reactive naturally because it's stainless steel. It's easier to clean than most flat stainless steels. All right. It has a silicone coated handle here, and the skillet is made out of 1810 rolled stainless steel, which is the same kind of stainless steel that all clad is made out of. It's a high quality stainless steel. All right, this in stainless steel is excellent for browning, it's excellent for searing. All right, the base is also stainless steel and clad right to the bottom. And it's thinner than most, and this skillet is good on any kind of cooktop, gas, electric, or induction. It doesn't matter what it is. You can use this on any cooktop. Now, modern stainless steel is a little bit lighter than the stuff you used to get 30, 40, 50 years ago. All you need is a medium to a low medium heat to get this thing hot enough to cook with. You don't have to use high. Okay, that's the reason a lot of people say, oh, stuff sticks. Well, one thing that you need to do when cooking with stainless is hot pan cold oil. That will prevent things from sticking too much. Also, 
using excessive heat. But the one thing a stainless steel like skillet like this does, when things begin to stick, is that brown stuck on stuff that people don't like is actually something called fond. And that fond is something that you deglaze off of the bottom and sides of this kind of skillet to make a gravy with. But that, that's another story altogether. The handle is riveted for superior uh, design. The handle will not come off. It's oven safe up to about 400 degrees. It's not meant to be used in a broiler because there is silicone on the handle. It has a lifetime guarantee from TFAL and that's it. You know, it's a very quick, very simple review. It's a beautiful pan. It really didn't cost a whole lot of money. I think if I paid $40 for it, I paid a mint. So what I want to do now is I want to cook something. So let's get going. While I'm heating up the skillet, I want to show you that for which I'm cooking tonight. This here is a nice cut of center of round steak. It's got a nice marble, not too much. You're going to have to add a little lubrication to the skillet because there's not a whole lot of fat. But this is a tender cut center and it's one inch thick. It's going to be delicious and I'm going to make it Greek style. So I'm going to allow this skillet to heat up and then we're going to cook a Greek steak. I'll be right back. Now, one of the ways I tell that the pan is hot enough, all right, without being too hot, just like that. See that? Put a little water on the finger, splash it on the surface, and just, pss, just went away. All right, so even though this is an easy lift, I'm still going to use a light coating of non-stick spray and the center of round right in the middle. There we go. Can you hear it sizzling? I've seasoned it with salt and pepper on this side and when I turn it over I will season it with salt and pepper on the other side. I'm gonna let it cook here for about uh, one inch thick. <clears throat> Uh, completely room temperature about three minutes maybe four I like it really red on the inside I'll be back in a little bit we'll take a look it's been about four minutes on the first side maybe I'm, yeah about four minutes we're gonna turn this over see that brown stuff oh my god I'm gonna turn this over oh yeah now how does that searing look to you can you hear it going in the pan? Here, let me get a little closer. How does that sear look to you? For a stainless steel pan, that looks divine for me. About another three, maybe four minutes on this particular side. And we're gonna give it a little bit of salt. Just like we did the first side. And a little bit of fresh ground black pepper oh yeah love the black pepper there we go now we're going to let it cook about three or four minutes on this side and then we're going to add some simple greek ingredients to make this a greek style steak and i'll be back in a couple how's that steak looking all right so now you're going to ask me how do you make a greek style steak and here we go. Butter. Oh, it's the best way to make a Greek style steak. And you take that steak and you turn it over. Look at that lovely sear. All right. And you get it wet in that butter and you reduce the heat just a little bit. And you turn the steak back over again. Butter sauce. Oh. You don't need a very high heat to melt this sauce. Okay. It's going to deglaze the stuff off the bottom for the most part. Oh. Beautiful. Beautiful. Right. So you reduce the heat just a little bit. There we go. Move that puppy around. Now, what do you add to a grease steak? Some garlic. I didn't happen to have any fresh garlic because I didn't go shopping today because I wasn't planning on really cooking, but I was hungry. 
But garlic granules will suffice because garlic granules are delicious. And they offer a more pronounced flavor. There you go. And of course, oregano. You want to add flavor to a steak really fast? Here it is, man. Oregano. That's all there is to it. When it comes to making a Greek steak, that is all there is to it. And you come and you get a little of that sauce. You get that spoon on top. The butter gets nice and brown. Brown, not burned, because I've turned the heat on down to low. There we go. Nice and coated on that side. Then we take the steak, pick it up, turn it over. How do you like that sear? Oh, oh, oh. Garlic granules. There we go. I love my garlic granules. All right, there we go. And of course, I love my oregano. Simplest steak in the world. Greek steak. They love their garlic. They love their oregano. Get a little of that oregano in the butter. There we are. Take the spoon. Get some of that lovely butter sauce. Spoon it on top of this baby. Turn the heat off. It's not necessary anymore because it's just the way I like it inside. Nice and red. Well, dark pink. There we go. Beauty. Beauty. Oh, man, that sauce is fantastic. I'm going to plate this up and we'll be right back. There you have it, guys. A really nice, nice Greek style steak with some fresh garlic. Oh, some fresh scallions. Just delicious. Let me get a close up for you. There you go. How do you like that sear? And everybody's always asking me, why don't I take a bite? Why don't I take a bite? Okay. All right. Here we go. I'm going to take a bite. Take it right off the end. Show you the kind of coloring I like. All right. Can you see that? Nice and pink. Oh, well, there it is. Can you see that? Nice and pink. Just the way I like it. Dip it in some of that butter sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Get a clove of get a clove of garlic to go with it. Hmm. 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 Just delicious. I want to thank you guys for stopping by and watching this review. And I hope you make this Greek style steak. It is fantastic. And I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Hey guys, I want to thank you for stopping by once again and watching my quick review on my Tefal Expert Pro stainless steel skillet and how to make this wonderful Greek style steak. As I said, people are always asking me, oh, why don't I take a bite, take a, a nice nibble of the food. Okay, so here I am going to do it again. Right down the hatch. Mmm. 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 Greek style steak. Mm. Garlic. <laughs> Keeps the vampires away, by the way, in case you didn't know that. Mm. Mm. Oregano. Just fantastic for flavor. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. So tender. The butter sauce. Just delicious. Mm. Another piece of raw garlic. This is raw garlic clove here, pal. Mm. Opa! Opa! Mmm. Mmm. And if you want to control the garlic breath, eat some parsley after dinner, and you'll be fine. I want to thank you for watching this video. 
want to thank you for watching me review this pan and make this Greek steak. Thanks for coming by my kitchen. I'll see you on the next video. Take care.